Hi everybody, it's Franny. Hi, and it's Heidi. And today we are going to answer a question with the I-8. Can you take it someplace and do you get mobbed with attention? <laughs> I don't think this car gets that much more attention than any other car, to be honest. I actually haven't owned it long enough to know, but it seems like every time we have it around, that it seems to get some attention of some sort. Maybe people say stuff, but maybe they don't. It's a question we want to answer. So we've already filmed some uh, time at the grocery store where we went into the grocery store and just wanted to see how the car was out in the parking lot by itself. So how about the gas station? We thought that would be a really good thing to film. So we're going to go down and see what kind of reactions we get at the gas station. And how many times have we filled up the car at this point? Oh, that's the other thing. Yeah, so <laughs> we bought the car in like December, and I think we've only been to the gas station once. So it this was is the second like time. the day that we bought it. Right, or right, right. Yeah. So um, now, granted, we haven't driven it a ton. Still, this thing because it's it's got a decent electric. It's okay electric range of 15 miles for short trips. We're finding that that's actually working really well. So very little gas in this car. It's really something. I mean, you can't go a million miles an hour like in most. Of these roads anyway. It's nice to have a car with dual function, dual purpose, and can kind of be two different types of car. I just love that about this thing. And I think it's the one thing that people don't get about this car is its dual personality. I think Franny's right because I'm always trying to get the little tiny car like the Mini that gets really big gas mileage. And so this one's almost like you don't even have to work for it. No. Nope. And with the Mini, you kind of, I mean, you couldn't have it in sport mode or, you know, you'd have to keep it in the regular mode or whatever but mm -hmm. um, this one right you get good mileage kind of with or without thinking about it you know so it's a, it's a very interesting car we're just getting to kind of know it's so different than any of the other cars in the garage um but it's it's a fun car it's really interesting so Heidi dropped me off right before the gas station so I could kind of get set up. And I looked back and look at that. There's a guy on a bicycle who stopped by very curious about the car. It's really kind of cool. And Heidi had a nice little conversation with him. Gorgeous car. Thank you. And it's a hybrid. So it's a hybrid. Yeah, I'm actually we filled it up for the uh, first time when we bought it in December. And we had it kind of garage because it has summer tires. But um, I've only been to Littleton twice now, and I'm finally running a little bit low on gas, but this is only like the second time I've filled it up. <laughs> huh? Since you've owned it? Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, Heidi pulled up to the gas station, got out to get gas, and a few people kind of came and went, but it was like the car was completely invisible. And that's what I kind of expected. It's pretty much just a car. It's pretty much the same story when we went to the grocery store. I had a camera outside watching the car and nothing. Nobody came by, nobody messed with the car, nothing. So these cars, they're very safe to have in a parking lot and you can use them for your daily shopping and your daily driving. We didn't have too much in the way of groceries, but we were still able to get everything in the car just fine. We got a little bit in the back, and then those back seats are a lot more useful than you'd think. So we got everything we needed in the car. <laughs> All right, well, as I thought, at least, I didn't think there'd be too much attention, and as you saw at the gas station, pretty much nothing. Nobody even knows the car was there. Just kind of what I thought, but, uh, when Heidi was waiting kind of to get set up what so some guy came up on a bicycle. Yes. Yes Yes, he did. Yeah, he said he'd never seen he's like, what is that car? Uh -huh. Yeah, pretty much was wondering what it was and and um, You know and, and found out it was a hybrid and uh -huh, I, I uh -huh. told him a little bit about it. Okay. And, all and right. Yeah Definitely, but yes funny the lady next to me that pulled in was in a Prius and it says hybrid right on it didn't even no. have a clue no. in the world that no. she was next to a hybrid. In fact, my guess is she probably, well, one, she probably just didn't even see it. Yeah. Well, anyway, so there <laughs> we go. Um, you can make your own decision as to just how much attention this car gets. I never really notice it when I'm out driving. Heidi thinks that there's still thinks that there's a bunch. We had one guy come up to the car. So, um, yeah, yeah, I don't I know. know. 
All right. Well, at any rate, this is uh, this is just <laughs> one in a series of living with the i8 videos that we're going to do. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Questions or comments or anything you want to say, go ahead and leave it down below, and we'll get right to it. Yeah, we want to know who you think won that bet. Yeah, Annie yeah. or Heidi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who do you think won? We'll do a tally and let you know. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. Well, uh, as always, a very special thank you to our Patreon supporters. Uh, thank you so, so much for watching. Until next time, safe travels. Bye.